All right, so I've been getting this question a few times. Um, I've heard it from other sources too, but a lot of people want to know, like, what's a specialty tool that you have? What special stuff that's not just a regular sockets or wrenches that you have to work on equipment? So I laid out some stuff back here. I'm going to approach this two different ways. If you're coming from, like, automotive into this industry, there's stuff. If you're coming from, like, trucks into equipment, there's some other stuff, but stuff that you had for trucks that'll still work for um, that'll still work for equipment. I'm gonna do a quick shout out uh, to Channel Lock. So I reached out to them. Um, I think it was about the beginning of December, just asking if they'd be interested in sponsoring or providing some tools. So they came back and they sent some tools out. Um, it's not like a sponsored video, they're not paying for anything, but they did send some free tools out. So I wanted to thank them and show them off. So I did a short, um, I was a week or so ago, but they sent me a sticker. We have the four piece pick set, which I was gonna purchase this anyway, and I decided to wait. They also sent me this um, this cool little channel lock keychain. It's like the old style, like acetate handles, um, made in America, and it's got this little, it's like a little screwdriver handle. I think it's pretty cool. And then the big one was the, this is the three piece pry bar set. So the three piece pry bar set, the picks, they sent us a sticker and a keychain. So I just wanna say thanks to Channel Lock. Um, what we're gonna do is the Milwaukee pry bars and picks are gonna actually come out of the truck. And these are gonna go in the truck. The Milwaukee pry bars will go back into that secondary box, the triangle box we were doing. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use these and do some reviews. You'll probably see some more um, shorts and stuff with these in it. But I just wanna say thanks Channel Lock. Um, this is all made in the USA by the way. Um, in that video that I did with the, I think it was the second Triangle Toolbox video, the Montezuma box, I showed the, um, the screwdrivers and I actually purchased those and I really like those screwdrivers. So go check all this stuff out. You can buy it on Amazon. Um, I'll link the Channel Lock store and Channel Lock's a great company. Pretty much everything they have is made in the USA and they support trades and they support the stuff that we all agree with. Well, thank you, Channel Lock. Um, you'll be seeing more of this stuff for sure. So let's reposition the camera here and I will show you some specialty stuff and we'll go through it together. All right, so first of all, I just wanna say, I know the back of the truck is disgusting, but it's been raining here, it's been cold, so I haven't really washed it. I'm not really planning on washing it yet. It's supposed to rain some more, so I'm just waiting for that. But, so I wanna start with this side here, which is stuff, if you're coming from automotive to trucks, or equipment this is stuff you'll need if you work on trucks this is stuff you probably already have or should have so first of all um, I've done videos on a lot of the stuff I'll explain that too so first of all this is the um, snap-on the they call them extra deep impact sockets for like turbo bolts and DPF clamps and stuff so this set is actually discontinued but you can still find them on eBay some snap-on guys have them but like v-band clamps and um, like charge air cooler clamps and DPF bracket clamps, they have like really long studs. So that's what these are for. And this is the most common size, eight, 10 millimeter, seven sixteenths and half inch. Use this set quite a bit, engine work, trucks and stuff. So then this is a, I've done a video on this too. This is a starter socket. That's a 12 millimeter, five eighths, and it's, it's swivel, but it's extra short. So Caterpillar, Cummins, International, pretty much everybody uses that uses a um, 16 millimeter or five eighths socket will or screw you will use the socket so uh, some of the older John Deere's do use um, 16 millimeter or 5.8 still but a lot of the newer ones use 15 so this is kind of handy but like trucks you're pretty much going to use this on trucks uh, anyway this is a, a DEF refractometer so anything that uses DEF you will need you will need this to check um, DEF quality so I think even auto, so maybe some auto people have this, but this checks uh, def quality, so you will need this. If you work on trucks, you probably already have one of these. And then these are the Lyle, whoa, let's take that off. It's got a really weird glare. So these are the Lyle, um, these are the fuel injection line sockets or knock sensor sockets. This kit, I've done a video on this. It's 17, 19, 21, 22, and 24. 24 is for um, knock sensors, except apparently on John Deere, they don't fit. But these fuel lines and stuff, you'll need these sockets. And then engine turning tools. So if you have, um, 
if you work on trucks, you probably already have some engine turning tools. So this one's for cat. This is for the older cats. The, basically, any of the actual cat engines. Some of the like the newer cat engines, or most of them are made by Perkins, the smaller ones. So you you need a different turning tool. But if it's an older cat engine, you'll use this one. This is for John Deere, um, and this one fits most John Deeres. And this is the pin tool for John Deere. And then let's go to this side. So then now this is more equipment stuff related. So this one's kind of specialty. I'm going to put it in the specialty pile, but this is a 12 millimeter long ball Allen. So excavators, um, Hitachi, Deer, Cat, pretty much most excavators use a like an Allen socket for the flanges. So you'll need this because getting around like hoses and stuff on um, valve, uh, not valve, uh, control valves and stuff, you'll need this long, it's a long ball Allen. And I put some pretty hard torque on this and haven't broke this. So this one is from Snap-on. See if there's a part number on it. If it'll focus. Let's see if it will focus. There we go. That's the part number S A B L M 12 E. And then this is a this is for like charging nitrogen. So uh, ride control accumulators, brake accumulators, um, anything like that, you'll use this little it's like a Schrader valve tool there's there is a different style but this is the most common style so you will use this um, this tool and you like screw it down onto the Schrader valve and then you open this here and it charges nitrogen so pretty much all the dealers sell these but I bought this on eBay and it was way cheaper because this little thing is like 20 bucks on eBay and the dealers want like a hundred bucks for that so here's a cat fuel system it's a clear basically a piece of clear acrylic and it doesn't come with these fittings you have to supply your own fittings but it's for you put it on the fuel line if you have like low fuel pressure and stuff you can see if there's air in the fuel or see what the fuel looks like or something like that so that's this is handy i did actually order a different one of these for john deere but it's been on back order for like two years so john deere has service guard is what they call all their specialty tools and it's been really hard to get stuff. So I did actually order that. I did order a John Deere 9 liter pin tool, also fuel pump pin tool. That is still waiting for that to come. And there's one other thing I want to get from Service Guard, but Service Guard's been really hard to get parts for or parts from. So this is a hydraulic test kit. I've done a full video on this too, but it's basically a bunch of fittings you can use for testing hydraulics, gauges. Here's a gauge. Um, you can also use it for like oil pressure. So that's what actually this was. This is a bad oil pressure sensor. And I kept it because of the, um, the threads. And I actually have a fitting in here that I found that fits. So testing um, like hydraulic pressure. I use this for fuel pressure. I use the gauge and the hose. So you will need this stuff for testing pressures. This is kind of one of those things where you don't use it all that often. But when you need it, you need it. So then this is more like electrical or special stuff. So this is a John Deere um, service advisor cable. This is an EDL V2. They have a V3 now. Um, I, I actually prefer the V2. I think it works a little bit better. This is just a USB cable for it. And then there's some MP doctor cables here, which I actually found in a machine. But um, Hitachi and some of the older Deers use these MP doctor cables. There's a six. Oh, wait. It's supposed to be a six and a four, but apparently I have two fours. And then, but what's funny about these cables is the end of them have a serial port. How many people even know what those are anymore? So there is an adapter in here, which is serial to USB. This is an old cable. I've shown this before too. This is for um, the older John Deere machines and the older Zaxxas machines. Um, you can hook this up and then you can have a service advisor port. So we do have a cat EDL2, or we have a cat, um, what do they call them, com adapters, but I don't have that. We really don't have very many cat machines, so I don't have that. So if you don't know, um, I work for a private construction company. We have about 95% John Deere now. Um, they're starting to phase out some of the cat machines, so we're losing the cat machines. They're not losing them, they're just trying to phase them out. So we don't have as many cat machines, so I don't really need cat ET. I mean. I probably use it like once every two or three months. So it's not really, I don't carry it on the truck because they don't want to pay for another subscription and all that when we really only have like five machines. But the deer stuff, I use that pretty much 
not every day, but I'd say every other day or every two or three days. Sometimes it goes a week, you don't use it, but the deer service visor cables, something we definitely use a lot of. So then I also wanna put, I put this on here, which this is my, um, I've shown this in a video too. This is my Deutsch kit. So if you work on equipment or trucks, a lot of times, like if you wanna fix a harness or repin a plug or something and you wanna do it properly, you need a Deutsch kit, Deutsch terminals, Deutsch crimpers. These aren't Deutsch, these are um, tool aid, but these are actually approved because the Deutsch pliers are very expensive. Those are actually approved. I did see um, that Knipex came out with the Deutsch pliers, so I was gonna check those out and see. But if you work on cats, you definitely need at least a Deutsch connector kit. If you work on deers, you also need a weather pack kit because deer uses weather pack and Deutsch. Cat doesn't use weather pack, but so I have both the weather pack kits over there. So that's kind of the specialty stuff that I've come across that I've needed. I've ordered a couple things as they come in. I will show more stuff. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. There's a PayPal link to donate if anybody would like to donate to the channel. There's also channel membership. If anybody would like to be a channel member, that'd be appreciated. Thank you.